Good morning, ladies. Laura Gabriel here sharing footage from this morning when I was trying to do my at home routine where I listen to the audio Bible and I speed clean the house and I get into the word and I use my workbook to do my reflections. And today I had a little man wake up about a half hour before what is normal. I was glad to be home and I have gone through a long process of God adjusting my heart. And one of the things he's done is help me to not be resentful when my precious morning time is um, disturbed by my children. Instead, bring them in and let them hear the word of God. I switch to reading out loud. I switch to praying out loud and I tell him what I'm writing is my responses in my workbook. And I don't share everything with him. After all, he's only two, but my son... Um, instead of derailing me, is now a part of my time with the Lord. And I hope that someday he will rise and call me blessed because I am. I'm blessed by the Lord. And I want to show you this one really quick thing. Look at this. He made me this. It is a, a little, um, what do you call these things? This is a bookmark. And you can see it says, Children are a gift from the Lord, a reward from the mother's womb. Psalm 127, verse 3. And in a, in a culture that tries to convince women that having kids is a big mistake um, and that they stand in the way of all your goals and dreams and even seeing on a national level people talking about getting abortions just to continue following their career path, eesh, ugh, God has a better way. He's going to bring you into closer communion with him as you give of yourself and open yourself up to your children. Amen. Okay, so we're on page 31. This reflection, 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 reflection and prompt comes from Melissa Collins. Psalm 118 verse 24 says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And Melissa writes, like breathing in oxygen, having relationship with our Heavenly Father is just as vitally important. And you can't build a relationship with Him unless you read His Word. Like any relationship, it is extremely important to communicate. For without communication, the relationship begins to die until it is completely dissolved. A relationship with God is not a relationship to take lightly and should always be handled with loving care because we cannot make it through this life without him. A quote from Carl, Charles Spurgeon, a Bible that's falling apart usually belongs to someone who isn't. And then we have a quote from Elizabeth Elliot's father, Philip E. Howard Jr. A Christian who is saturated with the word is likely to have a calm, wholesome outlook on life, to be kept steady in the path of God's will in either joy or sorrow, wealth or poverty, he is likely to be a pleasant companion, not voluble in aimless talk, and he will not be overly disturbed by world conditions. That's good. Psalm 119, verse 105, KJV version says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Melissa says, Reading your Bible on a daily basis will not only change your day, but will change your life. Amen, Melissa. Thank you. And as a mother of young children, I really appreciate these encouragements to remind me how important it is so I don't just throw my Bible to the side when I see my children. They have to know how important it is too. Yeah? Okay, day three prompt. What is something you read from God's word that you can rejoice and be glad for? Remember, our theme is thankful for the harvest. I hope you enjoyed going through some of the things that you're grateful for yesterday. I loved making my list, and this is just a great thing to be praising God for. I wonder if you're using the prayers section in the back on page 69 to record some of your prayers. There's also a place for answered prayers and Lord willing, I'll be filling this up nicely over the coming days together. 
one more thing I want to draw your attention to as we're already on day three. I don't want you to miss the opportunity to write down the names of your accountability partners on page 17 of your workbook. Have you done that yet? And remember, you have access to a free digital workbook inside your emails from me. So hopefully we have your correct email address. You'll see inside there a link that I send you every time. So it's really easy to get to. And you can print out that digital workbook if you don't have the physical copy. All right, sister, thanks for your time and spending time with me. Melissa, thank you for your wonderful um, reflection today. Ooh, tomorrow is day four. And we're going to be hearing from Deborah Absher. And it's about prayer, so join us. It's going to be good. All right, sister, see you tomorrow. This is Laura Gabriel signing off.